Hey guys, welcome to my winter lookbook featuring all things dressy, from cozy turtlenecks to power suits. 90% of these items are thrifted, so I encourage you to shop secondhand if you can, and also see what you already own. Hope you enjoy. For look number one, I have decided to resemble my kind of coffee. Lots of milk and lots of sugar. My suit's light chestnut color complements the turtleneck I've laid underneath. Not only is the turtleneck the coolest for having follies on the collar, it is also thick, keeping me nice and toasty. On my feet, I am wearing these anime schoolgirl shoes my boyfriend got for me on Depop. If you don't like traditional flats or heels, these are a great alternative. Plus, these shoes are Velcro, which is sick. Under my shoes, I have on knit socks that go up before the knee, keeping my shins cozy and go with a lot of my wardrobe. Cinching in my waist, I have this Stamen Louis Vuitton bag that I got from my mom, adding a nice contrast of texture. I threw on a long necklace underneath my blazer, a little wash I got for a dollar, and these gold leaf hoop earrings my boyfriend got me, adding more femininity to the look. For my second power suit look, I went for a more saturated palette with a dark green suit and this vintage mustard turtleneck. The waist literally cuts my body in half, but for the sake of a look, we're going to pretend I'm fine. I also unbuttoned the front to make it more casual and let my sweater and gold accessories shine. I'm wearing what is also known as Mary Jane's and socks from before, and for accessories I threw on the Timex watch, another gold necklace I've owned for a while, a thrifted gold ring, and two hair clips that I would definitely consider as one of my essentials. Just changing up my accessories a bit made this look more youthful in comparison to the first one. For my final power suit look, I threw it back to soft pastel colors, my Parisian look. Yes, it's Parisian because of the hat on my head, but you can't tell me this look would not look amazing walking down one of the many Paris bridges. I'm loving the slight oversized fit of the blazer and the pants drop so nice at my shoes for a baggy but still sleek look. Contrary to my last look, these pants fit me quite comfortably giving me lots of room for my food babies. This new colored sweater is 100% cozy cashmere goodness. I paid $15 for this at the thrift, more than my usual clothing purchase price, and I have absolutely no regrets. I am wearing the same shoes and socks, the Timex watch, the teardrop ring from before, a long gold necklace, and to finish, this black beret which I spent a good 5 minutes figuring out how to wear. While I am still confused, this is the best I could come up with. Hey guys, so I'm trying to switch into my next outfit to get some clips. This zipper has been kind of wonky from the beginning, and I think I've tested its limits, and this might be the end of this beautiful suit. I don't even know if I can take this off without... Uh, I do not know what to do. I do not know. So I got the pants off, but I did not get the zipper to move. I just hurt myself really bad taking it off. But we continue on. Now we're moving from Paris bridges to New York streets with my paperboy look. I have a big theme of earthy colors as it is a timeless color palette and really flatters my skin tone. These dark olive colored pants cinch in the waist so good as vintage pants do. And one of the few things that is not thrifted includes this amber mock neck from Tilly's. Fitted long sleeves are another one of my essentials for being so versatile. On top of my long sleeve, I have layered a good old vintage grandpa vest. It's very thick and soft, giving me a little extra layer of warmth. I tied in the color of the pants and top into the colors of the vest for some fun color coordination. For shoes, I am changing it up with some Doc Martens but sticking with those nude socks from before. For accessories, I have the Timex watch, a reddish brown scrunchie I got from a cute 80s vintage store which also ties into the vest, a gold necklace, and lastly, the iconic paperboy hat that has a dark red brown line accent tying in the shirt and vest, plus a black bill to tie in with the Doc Martens. For this next look, we are going from paperboy to grandpa. I never thought I would own golf pants in my life, but I'm hyping them up because they are silky soft, 
stretch at the waist, and flow like pajama pants. There really is nothing else more I could ask for in a pair of pants. My forest green turtleneck is amazing quality, made up of 100% cotton and is ribbed, adding more texture to the outfit. For shoes, I brought back the Mary Janes, but instead of the nude socks you've seen this whole time, I put on some red ones to spice it up. As if I didn't promote these shoes enough, it's a plus that adding a different pair of socks underneath can create a whole new look. For accessories, I got my brown Urban Outfitters clip, a chocolate brown fuzzy scrunchie I got on Impulse from Ross, the Timex watch, and the statement Louis Vuitton bag for a contrast in texture and bringing more attention to the top half of the look. For my final look, we're going from grandpa to grandma chic. While there are lots of things going on in this outfit, the teal blue slip dress is the main attraction. Possibly in the future, I would like to tailor this myself to fit me better, but we're going to make it work as it is for now. Besides this dress looking ever so magical with this slip-like fabric, the lace detail by the chest makes this baby prom material. And we can't forget the sexy side slit. Instead of a pair of tights, I went for my red thigh-high socks from my previous look to throw in another color and make this outfit more funky. For shoes, I went back to the Doc Martens to dress the look down, and for accessories, I have on the long gold necklace tucked underneath the dress to look a harness, bringing attention to the top chest area, the gold earrings from before, and this fun statement Hello Kitty bag with gold chains to make this outfit shine even more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which one is your favorite and I'll see you guys in the next one.